Hey guys, this is Mariah from MariahMagazine.com and in this really quick tutorial I am just going to show you how to create a coming soon page for your WordPress website. So a coming soon page is great if you're like working on your website still. You can go ahead and put this page up to let your website visitors know that your website is coming soon or this can be used if you are changing your website so you can also put it into like a maintenance mode. So so I'll show you how to set that up quick. You log into your WordPress dashboard and you're going to go to plugins and you're going to want to add a new one and in this search box go ahead and type in coming soon and we're going to use this one right here by seed prod. So go ahead and click install now and then you're going to want to activate it. Now once you activate it it will automatically take you to the settings page for the plugin. Um, if you activate it and then you want to end up coming back to it, it's going to be under settings and then you'll see the coming soon page and maintenance mode here. The first thing that you notice is that it's disabled. We're going to leave it disabled until we have finished designing it. So you can take as little or as much time as you want on this page. Um, you can make it super simple or you can make a little bit more in depth. Totally up to you. But the first thing you want to do is go ahead, go ahead and add your logo. Insert it into the post and then we can make a headline. And then this is where you can create a message for it. It allows you to have your whole WordPress toolbar and you can add your media. Um, if you want images and stuff, or you can add your headings and etc. So we're basically just going to type a message, bold it, whatever you want to do. And then you can choose to add in your fave icon or not. And then um, your SEO title, your meta description, all of that fun stuff. Um, if you're going to have this page up for a while, I totally recommend adding all of this. If it's just kind of like for a day or... Um, as you're just doing something quick on the back end, I wouldn't even worry about this stuff. So basically just click save changes and then you can go up to the design portion and change your background color. And then you can add a background image if you want to. Um, there's a whole bunch of options for all of this. You can leave all of that and then your text color. I want mine to be black. I want my link color even though I don't even have a link, but I don't know. Let's say we want to change it. And then you can choose your headline color. It gives you, you know, just a few like generic text fonts. Let's do this one. Save changes. If you wanted to add um, your own custom font, you can do that in your custom CSS right here. And like I said, this can be as in-depth or as simple as you need it to be. So the next thing that we want to do is preview it. So basically this is what my coming soon page will look like. And if I like it, I can go back to content and go ahead and click enable. So save all the changes. And then when you pop this URL in to an incognito tab, you can see what your um, website visitors will see. So the reason why we don't just want to go ahead and view our website here is that we are signed into WordPress, so we're not going to see this coming soon page. This only pops up if we're not signed in. So that is why I always recommend checking in an incognito tab. So then you have the option of doing a coming soon or a maintenance mode page. And basically to the user, they look exactly the same, like they'll see all of this stuff. The only difference is that the coming soon mode will be available to search engines. So they'll be able to, you know, read all this fun stuff. Um, if you have maintenance mode up, it will let search engines know that the site is unavailable. So if you wanted to learn the differences, um, the developers of this plugin link to a really helpful article right here that kind of explains it a little bit more in depth. And then if you wanted to add tracking URLs or, you know, custom coding, you can go ahead and click on this advanced tab and it will pop up with scripts. But that is basically it. So when you want to take this coming soon page or maintenance mode page off of your website, you just log in 
to your WordPress dashboard. And I'll show you the whole, the whole thing. Log into your dashboard and click on settings and then your coming soon page. And then you're just going to click this disabled and then save all changes. So now when your website visitors visit your website, they'll be able to see exactly what you see, you know, and your live website instead of the coming soon page that we just set up. Um, I do suggest leaving this plugin enabled so that it saves all of your settings in here, um, especially if you're going to get a little bit more customizable and things like that so that when you are working on things or changing things or moving things around and you don't want website visitors to kind of see like the in-between workings of that, then you can go ahead and just enable this page and all of your settings will be saved so you don't even have to worry about um, this text or you can change it to you know match whatever you're doing, um, but you don't have to worry about like the design changes or anything like that. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and pop them below the video. And I will also link to this plugin page for WordPress in the description below. And if you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me.